This is the SNAP 10-year overview reading for the years 2020 through 2029. It's currently September uh, 18th, approximately uh, 12.20 a.m. And that's Eastern time. Um, the overall theme and behavior for the 10-year uh, the period is a big move higher, guys. This, there's a lot of money to be made here. Um, it's, it's crossed with the sideways fluctuations with a bullish trend that precedes a decline. Behavior around the, the high for the 10 year period, there's going to be a, a notable decline through a key support level out, off of the high, the 10 year high, there'll be a notable decline through a key support level that um, at that time, at that moment in time, we will have recently visit, uh, broken through once before. Uh, behavior around the, oof, two cards, behavior around the months, or the uh, 10 year period's low, um, quite a bit of volatility. Um, looks like we turn resistance we likely turn there's a critical price level a critical technical price level at the low and it looks like we we create new resi uh we break through that resistance um creating a higher resistance out of the low but there's a key technical price level at the low so like the mo probably the most important price level um or the most significant price level that we see on the chart like when looking at this this reading, that's most likely going to be the price level at the low based on what I'm seeing here. 2020, um, we had bumping along the resistance levels, possibly breaking through a bumping majority of the time, bumping along resistance. Uh, 2021, there was a big move to the upside, something unexpected. 2022, a failed attempt to break through key resistance, followed by a decline through key support. 2023, um, a rally that ends with a, a rally along a diagonal trend line that ends with a fast sudden move to the upside, followed by a decline through that diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down. 2024, big, big bullish move to the upside, guys. That'll stand out significantly on a one day, uh, on a ten year chart or a multi year chart, just like 2021. This, this, this 2024 will, will, will stand out. 2025, um, we're bound by a range. Um, looks likely the upper end of a range. Uh, 2026, we have multiple headwinds pushing the stock lower. 2027, uh, major failure, major stock failure in 2027. 2028, um, we have a turnaround. There's a big move to the upside and it'll stand out on a one on a multi-year chart Just like the major failure will stand out on a, on a multi-year chart But this move to the upside will be will be fully retraced back down. So it'll make like a like a triangle almost um, And then in 2029 we have a sideways rotation along a key support level moving higher to reach the most the, the closest significant resistance level followed by a decline back down to a slight decline back down to that support level that we use it as uh, for rotation. Uh, sneak preview for the, ooh, okay. And so this is big deal. Uh, snap in, in uh, 20, in 2030 through 2039, it looks like there's a notable, like it may, it may come to an end. The, the company might probably go out of business, but that's not, or, just a big decline, but that's not before they have uh, a significant amount of success. They may be mer they may be merged. It may not be failure or, uh, like they go out of business. Like the company just doesn't exist sometime in 2023. It looks like. All right, and uh, any any good trade opportunities are going to correlate to the prints on the timeline are going to correlate to the prints of uh, swords. Let's see what we got as far as correlations for the prints of swords. Um, we've got the star card, so we got a trade in 2021. Um, we want to trade at the low as well. So we had a low um, in 2022. All right, so we got a we have a trade opportunity in 2021. We have a low in 2022. <coughs> Somewhere around there is the low, 2021, 2022. Um, and then behavior around the, let's see what we got here. Around the high. Uh, we've got a high in 2024. Um, it also correlates to the theme card here. And that would make sense, a big move in, up to 2024. So I'd be in the stock right now. 
Um, I'll, I'm going to look for a good entry point. If there's one coming up, probably this mo uh, the month of October, I'm going to guess. But I'm going like to start doing monthlies and find find where I'm doing that, where I'm purchasing the snap. Um, if I don't just buy it after this reading, uh, and I'll hold it through 2024, it makes perfect sense that we'd want to trade there because boom, then we've got all this like decline going on. Um, what else do we got for the Hermit card? Let's see. All right. Well, that's uh, that snap. Uh, basically, what I'd be doing is buying uh, buying that uh, accumulating snap this year, uh, and and holding it through 2024, where I'd look to sell it. Um, let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Most importantly, my friends, follow that rule of karma. 5% of the profits forward to somebody who doesn't expect it, that needs that help. Do it do, do it secretly. They don't even need to know it's you. Like, leave it, out, leave it outside like, you know, some sleeping homeless guy or, you know, drop it in your friend's bag. Like, like it's pay it forward. It's not about them knowing. It's about giving. Right, you keep the flow going, and then pay five percent of that profit. Send it back to our, the channel. Help support us, guys. Keep us running, keep putting out all this free content. And we put out seventy videos last month, seventy, all free. So please, guys, show us some love. Show us the support. I thank you very much for your support. It allows me to keep doing my dream, my passion, and bringing you this excellent, uh, miraculously accurate information. Love you guys. Uh, I'll see you on the next one.